In this video, we are going to talk about the basic concept of parametric equations and parametric curve. So at you made it to this point, that means you already study derivative, right? And also you already study integral. So when you study derivative and integral, the functions that we use, they are called rectangular equations. So let's recall a very popular rectangular equation that is y equals to x squared. So it's a parabola. So let me graph the parabola. So this is a parabola, right? Facing up. And then this curve, this parabola, uh, I put this in a rectangular coordinate x and y and then this y equals to x squared is a rectangular equation rectangular equation so that is what you use very often when you were in uh, integrals and derivative but in this uh, lesson we are going to discuss parametric curve so let me switch color to parametric curve so what for parametric curve in order to have a curve i must have an equation right we have been discussing this thing in, in math the whole time. So first we study an equation and then we study the graph of an equation, right? So let me write down parametric equation. So we are no longer dealing with rectangular equation. So what is parametric e equation? Parametric equation is I will be using one. So use one or more parameters one or more parameter to link a set of function so in here the parameter i am going to use t and then at the x and y they are my variable. So let's recall a rectangular uh, equation first. So let's say x squared plus y squared is equals to phi squared. What is the graph look like? In case you don't remember what the graph looks like. So let me do a little bit of work for you. So this is y. On the other side, I want to toss the x squared to the other side. So that will be phi squared minus x squared, right? To get rid of the square for the y. I take a square root on both sides, it looks like I missed something very important that is the plus or minus. So does that remind you what the graph looks like? So in this uh, e uh, rectangular equation, the graph is what? The graph is a circle, right? So let me draw the x and y coordinates. So that is my x axis. And then this is my y axis. The plus square root is the upper half circle. So upper half circle. And then the minus square root is the bottom half circle. So basically this, the x squared plus y squared equals to phi squared is equation of a circle. What is the radius? The radius is equals to phi. So this is a phi, this is a phi, negative phi, and this is a negative phi. The radius of the circle is equal to negative phi. And then let's say uh, I, I have a point right here. I have a point right here. Can you tell me what the coordinate of that point? So at that point, x is equals to five. When x is equals to five, y is equals to zero. So this is x comma y, right? Okay, so, so far so good. So now I am going to call this point a particle. A particle, so let's say particle is an object. This point is travel along in this path. So that means this point is circulating in this circle, how about this going to this direction? It's circulating in this circle. Now, listen, this equation, the equation of a circle tells you where the object has been. Again, this equation tells you where the object has been, where. So when x is equals to five, y is equals to zero. This tells you the location of a point. So that means it tells you where the object has been. You give me an x, I give you a y, and then you you plot that on the on the graph. So you see where the point is. You see where. But one thing it doesn't tell you is it doesn't tell you when the object was at a given point. So that means when time equals to some value, the x and y this one we don't know x equals to something y equals to something but this we don't know so it doesn't tell you when the object was at a given point x comma y so the when 
is time. And then the time, we call this uh, the parameter t. All right, so let's use a very simple parametric equation. So the parametric equation that I will be using is, um, so let's switch color for that. So I will be using a parametric equation. So this is x equals to cosine t and y is equals to cosine t. I mean, y is equals to sine t. Let's erase that. Y is equals to sine of t. And then I want to let the p t be between 0 and 2 pi. So this is a parametric equation. I use a parameter t to link to to link a set of functions. The set of function is x equals to cosine t, y equals to cosine t. So let's say when t is equals to zero, can you tell me what x is and what y is? So when t is equals to zero, so the x comma y, what is that equal to? Cosine zero is one, and then sine of zero is zero. And then what about when t is equals to pi over two? t is equals to pi, t is equals to three pi over two, and t is equals to two pi. So now tell me all the x and y coordinate, x, y, x, y. So when t is equals to pi over 2, cosine of pi over 2 is equals to 0. In case you don't know, you have no idea what I am talking about, you have to review the unit circle. If you don't know what we are doing right now, if you have no idea why cosine of pi over 2 is equals to 0, you have to review the unit circle. And then uh, sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1. And then uh, when t is equals to pi, cosine of pi, x is equals to negative, sine of pi, y is equals to 0. And then uh, x uh, cosine 3 pi over 2, so x is equals to 0, y is equals to negative 1, and then cosine of 2 pi, so we have a 1 sine of 2 pi is equals to 0. So we have 5 order pairs, right? So let's graph this five order pair in this order first. Remember, you have to put the t in ascending order from the smallest to the largest in the domain. And then you obtain five points. You have to plot these five points in order. So let's uh, sketch an xy plane. I'm trying to keep the axis straight. So that is my y axis. And then this is my x axis. And then the first point is one zero. The second point is 0, 1, and then negative 1, 0, and then 0, negative 1, and then we go back to 1, comma 0. Now, graph this for me, so that means you uh, connect these points for me, and then tell me the direction you just went. So here is the direction I just went. So from here to this point, and then to that point, to the third point, and then back to the starting point. So what is the direction? The direction is we travel along in this direction. The direction is very important. So the direction, we have a name for this, the direction, the little uh, arrow that we drew, we call this an orientation. So the particle is moving along in this direction. So the direction is very important after plotting the points from the table value, so the curve is traced out a specific direction, right? So you see how, how we go, so that is counterclockwise, and then this direction is called orientation. And then what else do, do we know in here? So the first point, one comma zero, so the first point is right here, right? So this is the first point that we plot. So that point is x comma y, so x comma y, is one comma zero. So this point tells you where the particle is. It gives you a location. Location means where, where the particle is. But it did, what, what about the time? So for the time, the time, the parameter t, so using parametric equation, now listen up, we are going to dive one step deeper. So the x and y, what is x? Look at the given parametric equation. So x itself, is equals to cosine t, and then the y is equals to sine of t. So therefore, we use a par parameter t to link a set of equation, which is x equals to cosine t, 
and y equals to sine t. So using this parametric equation, the x, y t gives you the location and then the t gives you a time. So when time equals to something, look at the first line, the very first line of, uh, of math. So when t equals to zero, I give you a time. So initially, when time equals to zero, you tell me where the, the particle is. And then the next step, when time is equals to pi over two, you tell me where the particle is. So that is the basic concept of parametric equation and the circle we have, we call that a parametric curve. So parametric curve C, let's write that down as well. So this circle, I call that a parametric curve. So in most of the textbook, the parametric curve, they use a big C, the big C stands for parametric curve. I think there is another name, they call it a plane curve. So regarding the definition of this curve and the parametric equation, we do that in the next video. So that will be the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, please click the like, subscribe and share the video out. For me, I appreciate your help really much. Signing out for now, I see you in the next video.